So do you know what this sound comes from? Listen close. I'll do it again. So the other night, I was out and about. I had to run out and pick up a few things. And I pulled up to a, a store and I got out of the truck and I was, as I was walking to the store, I saw an older gentleman walk out, well-dressed, had a nice jacket on, the old man hat, all that stuff. And he stepped off to the side and I heard that sound. That sound that I heard was a Zippo lighter. It kind of put a smile on my face. Not because I think having a smoke is a good idea, but that sound is just so recognizable and it kind of takes you back to when we were younger. And in my opinion, it was a better time. It's not bad right now, but yeah, the Zippo lighter made in Bradford, Pennsylvania. But anyway, the warm temperatures have uh, moved on down to about 30 degrees this morning. Got a fire going in the wood stove and we're gonna head down to the wood yard and we'll see what we get into. Sometimes when I go down there, I don't even know what direction to go. Do I cut firewood? Do I saw lumber if I do that? What type of lumber? Uh, I am focusing on the red pine right now and we have a lot of walnut and white oak but I'm focusing on the red pine because it doesn't last as long as the hardwoods do. And all the hardwoods I've got up off the ground, uh, it would take a long time for that to go bad, but the red pine doesn't last real long just sitting around, so that's why I wanna get a bunch of it sawed up. And uh, probably in the next couple weeks or so, we're gonna start building some stuff. I just ordered an auger for the uh, excavator, actually. I uh, contacted Neil at Messix yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And I ordered an auger for that. That's something that I've been wanting to get for a long time. Uh, I was debating between it and the skid loader, but I think it'll be a lot handier on the excavator. So yeah, I got an auger with a nine inch bit for starters. That'll be good for like four by four and six by six posts. But uh, we have a lot of stuff to build that I wanna build out of that red pine. Drying sheds, firewood sheds, maybe a little barn, hunting shack for down West Virginia. And uh, I got to thinking, you know, not right now, but down the road, the red pine does need thinned badly down at the cabin. Uh, the way to do that, it costs some money, but you kind of kill two birds with one stone. Uh, get someone in there with a feller buncher and just start picking out every other tree and laying them down. It's so hard to cut them in there because they're like six, seven feet apart. But uh, that may be something that we do once we go through all the red pine we down we have down at the wood yard there. Yeah, it's kind of like having a savings account. You know what I mean? When you need it, it's there. So that's the way I look at that.
right, so uh, Levi and I just sawed up some more red pine. I got this stack right here and a pile over there by those walnut logs. I'm going to take that up to the building uh, later on today. We'll stack and sticker this stuff. But this is beautiful wood. I think uh, red pine, it gets overlooked by people. Uh, but it's really, really nice stuff. It is. Makes great framing material, siding. You could make some, you know, you could dry this, make some real nice tongue and groove, interior work with it. Nice stuff. I'm going to save my uh, slabs from the red pine. I did take some down to the burn pit. I got a bunch of big gnarly stuff in there, so I needed something for some fuel to get the fire going, and I'm glad that I didn't light it. When I took it down there, it was still pretty wet and damp from uh, all the rain the other night, but with all this wind and sun, it is definitely not the day to burn. I'm glad I didn't light that up. I want to show you one more thing before we get back at it. Look at these two red oak logs right here. Those are a couple of the ones that came from uh, over at the neighbors. It literally doesn't get much better than those. I mean, those are just about perfect. Just beautiful stuff right there. Really, really nice. This kind of stuff gets me excited. see myself <laughs> I'm kind of bent down a little bit Eva's not taller than me but uh, uh, this was her first go around at the sawmill right it was lumber's pretty nice it is really nice it smells good it's neat taking that big pile of nasty looking logs and turning it into yeah. something nice like this it's crazy so Eva is home from uh, spring break yep. and she actually shot a couple videos this week you'll have to check them out on her channel Eva Morgan I'll put a link I'll put a link in the description for Eva's videos, but, uh, so did you, did you enjoy this? I did. It was nice being home and getting to try the sawmill out for the first time, seeing what it does. I didn't mention, but this is her spring break. 
Yes. At least it does feel like springtime here. It is. The weather's been nice, but. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help. What are you going to do now? I think I'm going to work out. Might uh, go get some Girl Scout cookies. I could pile up about 40 of these logs and you'd get a real workout. Yeah, no. I would. Lifting yeah. weights and lifting logs. All right. Well, thanks for your help, Eva. So what I was doing there was one of the uh, least favorite parts of running this mill. I mean, it's not bad, but these were the second boards off the log. So I take a slab off and then one live edge piece and, you know, I'll stack four or five of them up here and trim them down. But there's a lot of nice lumber in there. You know, that's uh, five inches wide, four quarter. So that's what I'm doing there, trimming them up. So I just gave that uh, blade there, shot of diesel fuel, but man, that is working really well. I mentioned that in a video the other day. After each log saw on this red pine, because it's a little sappy, gets a little bit of buildup on it, I give it a few squirts of diesel fuel, let it run for a minute, and it is all shined up again. So between Levi helping me this morning and Eva, uh, I only ran the mill about an hour and a half, and I just tallied that up right there. It's about 250 board feet, uh, which is pretty good because we're not in a big hurry. I mean, I'm not like a production sawyer or anything like that. But yeah, 250 feet right there, plus maybe another 175 over there. We got a lot of stacking and stickering to do. But right now, we're going to take a break from the sawmill and uh, move on to something bigger much bigger look at the size of this maple right here this came in that load of logs the other day i'm actually not sure what i'm going to do with it yet uh, but for starters we're going to trim it down to size i can saw probably 34 36 inches something like that and you know you can trim it a little bit but uh i don't know how big this thing is it's huge yeah it's showing 52 inches right there but there's a lot of flare here at the bottom i think what i'll start off with kind of uh yeah i'll cut one chunk of firewood off here 16 inches and we'll measure it again i'm trying to see here if you come down here to where it gets all jacked up yeah I could get a really nice 10 footer out of this I think that I would be close to being able to handle I think
I am kind of shocked because I can barely pick this up right here. This is about 11 feet long and it's uh, about 39 inches in diameter. That end is almost the same. This log right here weighs probably 4,500 pounds, give or take, okay? Now I cut that giant firewood round off of this end. I cut that huge piece off of that end and I couldn't pick it up when it was all together, but somehow that log truck was able to, with that skinny little boom on there, was able to pick that up. That's crazy. But even though I got it cut down to a more manageable size, I'm still not sure. You know, that's showing like 37 right there. I might be able to fit that on the mill. Have to do some trimming here and there, but I mean, it's pretty straight now. I don't know. That thing's a monster. Or I could find someone with a bigger mill that wants to buy it. I could do that as well. Because I think the way it sits right now, well, I know I can. I could get that on my deck over trailer. I have to think on this one. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. I appreciate y'all being here, and I will catch you on the next one.